I'm feeling a little nostalgic today. I'm at Wilson Tool in Essex, and about 15 years ago, I came in here trying to sell uh, Glenn, your dad, a machine. I was yeah. unsuccessful on that occasion, but the business was very different then, wasn't it? You were you were traditionally a tool maker. We, over the years, we've gone from a tool making, you know, that was our foundations. Gradually, we've just moved further and further away from it, whether it's because of the skill set uh, with the guys coming through, but we've become a good general machine shop now. And that's been a lot of your undertaking as well, because you've brought the business forward in recent years. You've evolved to now become, you know, quite an established CNC machining company as well uh, with the with these Romy machines here. Uh, how are things going for you currently? We're we're really good. You know, we've just recently this is our second one in two years. Um, we were looking to just differ a little bit from where we, where we was going. A lot of our stuff was around the 700 movement on our CNCs and we was feeling we was getting into a zone which was very affordable for everyone and the market was coming very competitive so this, the 1250 has given us a bit more. Yeah you got that edge really because you, 1250 machines that gives you a little bit more size for bigger parts but also to put more components on the table if, if you needed it to and I think you're right I think most people opt for between 600 and a meter on a VMC. Mm. Uh, once you got a VMC though Darren which you have from Romy here, the first one, and now the second. They need to be reliable, don't they? Have you found that with these machines? These have been you know, the standard um, CNC machine. We've had a couple of very small faults with the machines, but we have direct contact with applications and service. So anything in that area, I can get an answer quickly. We're happy. Uh, the first machine that you bought has got a fourth axis unit on it, but you don't have that on this one. Uh, you didn't need it then, this time round? For us, the fourth axis is more, we, we don't do a lot of fourth axis machining. It's there um, as a nice to have. This one was more to eventually look at different options. We can, can we be more competitive by getting more vices on the machine? Can we do more parts? Yep. Effectively running the two machines back to back. And well, we, when, when I go into Romy and Rugby, I, 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 presented by beautiful showroom, lots of nice machines. They always say how great they are, but it is good to come out and to the field and find out from a user whether they've had the kind of success that Romy preach. Uh, would you say that you made the right decision going down this path? Because you have got quite a few different machine brands here. We've made the right decision. We've got, um, it's, the machines always get compliments when, the, when you know, guys of similar um, engineering companies walk in. The first thing they notice is how well built it is. Um, and that it's, it, they look, look, they still look new. Yeah, well, I was going to say your first machine, which is two years old, the wear and tear on it is minimal, though you're using it obviously day in, day out. A lot of other machines, you might, you might find that the paintwork, you know, uh, is not as good as it was at the start, and you know, the, the, the general condition of the machine deteriorates. But that hasn't happened here, is it? It's really nice to see that that machine is standing up. It's when people come round and uh, vi literally view what we've got to show. They're thinking that machine's brand spanking new. It's, it's a two-year-old X-Demo, and we, are, we do look after them, but they're still standing up. Some might look at them and go, you can't be doing much challenging work here then, Darren, but tell us that that's not the case, and what do you do? That's certainly not the case. We don't run them as hard as some. We certainly don't run 24 hours a day. We really don't know what the jobs are coming through the door next, so we could be doing a 200 off which is quite rare for us or we could just be doing a simple one off and it's literally getting the, the, the job on the machine and off the machine what's next um, and with the origin of tool making um, you, you could be doing sort of larger bolsters quite harder materials as well I assume is that that's still the case sometimes here we still look at we still do some hard milling we still were involved in the bolsters sometimes but generally now we're looking more vice size components or anything that will fit on that table and sometimes more uh, Siemens control how'd you get on it on with it you got the shop mill it's brilliant. You know, for us, the whole shop is geared up for it. It's simple. The guys love it. it it's a game changer. I would say to you, because some people will watch our videos and they go, well, there must be something bad about these machines. Is there, is there anything you could, you could put, put your finger on that maybe isn't quite as good as what it could have been? Or am I really trying to uh, find something that doesn't exist? Yeah, you're pushing your luck on that one. I honestly feel that we wouldn't have bought another one so quick if uh, we had issues what we was worried about. So if I'd have been selling these back in 2001, would you have bought one of me? I think Dad would have sold you a go away. <laughs> definitely, yeah, definitely we would have done.